Some parts of Kenya are not covered by the national electricity grid, which has seen electricity customers bear the brunt of high power bills due to the expensive diesel generated power for such areas. To expand the coverage of the national grid, the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Ketraco, is in the process of adding 7,000 kilometers of high voltage transmission lines over the next five years to reach such areas. This is also expected to reduce dependency on the expensive thermal power. We have other lines we are putting up across the country, uh, which at the moment we have never had the national grid going to those regions. A very good example is uh, Kindaruma Umingi Karisa. Uh, we energized a substation in Kidaruma in December. We also energized a substation in Mwingi in December. And we are looking at having the Garissa line completed in the next two weeks. At the moment, that region is served by Agreco, which is 100% on diesel. And when we finally take our lines to those regions, now those diesel generators will definitely be eliminated. Speaking ahead of the groundbreaking for construction of the Homabe substation, which is part of the Sondu Homabe Awendo transmission line, scheduled for this Friday, Barasa said the transmission lines being 100% owned by the government, the cost of setting up the infrastructure will not be passed to consumers. Now we are putting up a line uh, that is a Sondu Homabe um, uh, Awendo line. Uh, this is a, a one uh, or six kilometer line. Uh, 132 kV and the line is funded by KBC of Belgium. Uh, the line is expected to be uh, constructed at, uh, to, uh, at a cost of 2.5 billion Kenya shillings. In the event of excess power supplies, Barasa says that the presence of regional interconnections with the neighboring countries will facilitate regional power trade. Uh, we expect the tariffs to go down because um, uh, these lines are being funded by are loans which are basically a very competitive loans and um, when you look at uh, the funding model uh, one of the things which will not be transferred to the uh, consumer is the cost of the line we are going to eliminate uh, diesel generators uh, the fuel component uh, in the tariff will definitely be eliminated when we have the lines which we are talking about coming on board he says installation of power lines to evacuate power from Lamu, Kitui coal plants, is also underway. Nicholas Ndwati, Nizawa Business.